Hi, my name is Josh Woltstead. I'm a marketing intern at Digilent, and today we're going to talk about the snake board that we made for Aceta. This is a 30 by 30 LED matrix that was made by Brandon Markham. Hi, I'm Brandon Markham. I uh, built the hardware for the LED board, the 900 um, LED board, using 30 strips of the WS2812 uh, addressable LEDs. Tried to run them in serial. Problem is the first one takes 1.4 amps, the next one gets a little bit less, the next one gets a little bit less, it starts pulling a lot more current. Eventually by six or seven strips you get full bright over here and like two or three hundred milliamps through here. So we tied all of the red wires, the red wires to the positive bus line, the white wires to the ground line. So all 30 strips are running in parallel in power. That turned on the entire board. The next issue was figuring out the data. The data still needs to run serially. Up the strip and then down the next one. Up the third, down the fourth, and it runs up and down all the way. Each panel requires about 14 amps. We have three panels, so that needed about 45 amps. These LED strips require five volts, so we got a five volt, 75 amp power supply. Even at full power, 100% bright, this power supply is, the board is maxing out at 45 amps. So we're well under our, uh, our rated maximum. There's a couple different options we thought about for the material, mounting material. One was uh, using wood, um, but it would be obviously not see-through. So we decided to go with the acrylic. Um, the goal for this was to make a, a table display. I needed to figure out how to connect the board so that it was stable, yet at the same time easily portable. So if you can see right here um, through the front, I used some really simple tension cupboard clips, one side which actually lays flat against the panel, and then the other side attaches perpendicular to the panel, so I had to build a little block. Keeps the pixels straight across the board instead of separating. I didn't want to have anything tight pulling in the back because that would, that would pull the panels towards each other in the back, and I, I need a flat display. Um, and then I made just really simple uh, notched stands, just scrap pieces of wood I had laying around. Spray painted in black, so. And the software was designed by Marshall Wingerson and Tommy Kappenman and Sam Lowe. My name's Tommy Kappenman. I'm a digital engineering intern at uh, Digilent. The whole snake game was uh, done in MPIDE, uh, like the, all the functions to check if there's like an, an apple there or if, like, if the node is an apple or if it's alive or if it's dead. It uses uh, the, the pixel Marshall's pixel library, which is on uh, GitHub. Yeah, we use that code to communicate with the LEDs. It works by uh, uh, a two by two array of uh, 30, um, well, 900 nodes that we, uh, we, we made as a, as a struct in the code. And each, each node has a bunch of different values, like hue, saturation. Each node has a, uh, once, once a new node is lit up, it has a, um, a counter that begins, and each tick um, it increments by one. The count of that node is equal to the length, then that, that means you have to kill the node, which is the tail of the snake. So it'll, you know, one after the other. This one will die, this one will start up, this one will die because it's at count six. And the LED board was made by all Digilent products, minus the, the plexiglass. This is a UC32 device. The LED strips are WS2812. You can get those on the website. All this is going to be available on the Instructables website. James Colvin is making a Instructable, which will provide the libraries and how to make everything. Um, Brandon Markham made this controller, which is also from Digital and Products. Um, I designed a um, just a simple four-button controller. It uses the uh, RJ45 P mods, and it's just a six-pin header, four data pins, and uh, then power and ground. It's the pull-down resistors make the signal go ground until you start pushing the buttons. So it's got pretty fast response time. You can do one pixel at a time if you wish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be sure to check out the Instructables on this and also be sure to have fun. Hey, so if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to click up there to subscribe or click down there to watch some more videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.digilantinc.com. And thanks for watching.